Welcome back guys. So we're gonna go ahead and jump right into this. The OEM turn signals are out and in its place, we're gonna be installing the EK Prince turn signal duct, which conveniently enough has a little LED. Uh, disclaimer, these are for off-road use only. So now that that's out of the way, let's go ahead and do the install. But before we do that, I just wanted to show you guys the similarities between the EK Prince setup and the OEM setup. So the contour and the shape is pretty dead on. And I did test fit one and I'm very pleased with the fitment. So big, uh, big thumbs up to EK Prince for these. And I did, I did go ahead and opt for the two inch adapter. We're gonna go ahead and get into this. As I said, really, really simple install guys. So all you really need is a screwdriver and any kind of sealant slash silicone will do because you do need to silicone these adapter pieces on. There is a little bit of a raised structure there. So those that's where you want to lay your bead, connect this and then just let that set. So this is going to be again, really simple, two screws on each. And I will say that these are 90, 91 specific. They do offer a 88, 89 variant. So I'll go ahead and link these in the description of the video. This is not a sponsored video again. I picked these up on my own really fast before we go ahead and install these. I did want to show you guys the state of the OEM turn signal, turn signal housing as a whole. So this thing has really seen better days. I'm sure that a lot of, a lot of UEF guys can understand or can see this. This is basically just falling apart. This is the housing itself. And then the gasket in between is very dry. And yeah, this, uh, they lived a good life and they did, they did what they needed to do, but these are going to be retired. As you can see, a lot of that chrome was kind of just faded out and yeah. So what can I say? They're 30 years old. I did try to, you know, spruce them up a little bit. I did try to give them a little bit of a facelift with the LED bulb and that was cool for now, but these are going to be much better in the long run and overall go with the theme of the car as it currently sits. So here we go. Let me uh, let me set you guys up and let's get these in. That's gonna wrap this one up. Very, very simple, a few minutes. Uh, all in all, about 10 minutes total. These turned out really good. Big thanks to EK Prince for putting these out. Really, really nice product. And a uh, special thanks to Mark from Honda Street Garage because he put these on his SI, 8889, I believe. And uh, I like the way it looks, so I went and got them. So thanks to both of you guys. So. That's that, that's gonna be this video for now. I do have a seat video coming for you guys. Yes, I know, I have uh, I haven't really touched on how I got these in. It's really simple, uh, they, look re they look great. Whoa. They look great, and uh, stay tuned for that, I guess. Again guys, thanks for joining me. We'll get one more look at what we got going on here. All in all, really, really nice. Big thanks to EK Prince, and that's it guys. So stay busy and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.